What's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to kind of talk about something that has me very excited. You know, when I left the gym this morning, I checked my Twitter and my Instagram and saw that Sega has finally announced a Sonic the Hedgehog based event that's going to go down on their YouTube and their Twitch page. So that has me super excited. The event is on May the 27th and I'm recording this on May the 25th. So of course, I'm super excited. We have two days to kind of sit and speculate and talk about what we'd like to see in these events. And uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. You know, me being a longtime Sonic fan, I've seen Sonic from the very beginning all the way up to where it is today. You know, I grew up a Sega kid, so my first console was a Sega Genesis. I remember playing Sonic 2, 3, 3 and Knuckles, Spinball, 3D Blast, all that on the Genesis, and I've been playing Sonic ever since. So I feel like I've grown up with Sonic. You know, I feel like I was there through every step of the way with the Sonic franchise. So of course this means a lot to me because I definitely want to see how Sega's going to celebrate this so yeah. But without further ado, let's kind of talk about some of the things I would like to see and of course I want to encourage you guys to uh, do the same in the comment section. Tell me what you would like to see at this event. I mean we only got two days so you know we won't be talking about this for very long but uh, yeah man I want to know what you guys want to see at this event man and yo I'm excited. But anyway let's get into it. So the first thing I would like to see is Sega make a collection to kind of celebrate the 30th anniversary of Sonic with having all the games in a way that modern audiences can play it. So my original idea was to have like a 2D collection and a 3D collection. You know, with the 2D collection kind of highlighting Sonic in the Genesis era or maybe even like the Saturn era, uh, where we have games like um, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, Knuckles Chaotix, Sonic CD, um, even throw the Advance and Rush games into there as well. And, and I guess that would take it out of the Genesis category, but just have like a classic 2D Sonic collection that would kind of collect all of Sonic's best 2D adventures or even the more obscure ones like the Game Gear games or like Knuckles Chaotix or things like that. I would really like to see, you know, these games get brought up to modern audiences and of course we want to touch them up and make them look a little bit better, but also throw in some like developer interviews, soundtracks. Uh, throw in like developer notes and trailers and concept art like just make it like a celebration of these games I would love to see all these games on one collection on the switch ps5 whatever the case is so Have collections of all the 2d Sonic games on one and of course we're gonna do the same thing for the 3d collection You know have your Sonic Adventures your Sonic Adventure 1 2 Hero Shadow the Hedgehog Sonic 06 ugh. Sonic Unleashed, Generations, Colors, Lost World, like make those games available on modern platforms. Now, I don't know if they're going to do it in a way where they're going to consolidate it onto one piece of, you know, hardware, disc or whatever, but at least make them available, make them downloadable, uh, just make it available for the people to be able to play and even for the newer fans of Sonic, because I know a lot of the viewers who watch my Sonic reviews are much younger and they didn't necessarily get to experience, you know, Sonic Advance and Sonic Rush and all that. So being able to have those games on modern platforms would be amazing for the new Sonic fans and the old Sonic fans such as myself. The number two thing I would like to see is a follow-up to Sonic Mania. Uh, you know, Sonic Mania, I, I love the game. You know, I feel like it was a return to 2D form with Sonic. I felt like it was the best thing to kind of come out of the two-game deal with Sega uh, throughout that time. But the only thing I knocked Sonic Mania for, and granted, by no means is Sonic Mania a terrible game. Sonic Mania is amazing, but the one thing, the one thing that I always kind of go back to with Sonic Mania is the fact that they use levels that we've explored time and time again. And the fact that we had Sonic Generations not too long before Sonic Mania, um, you know, to me, just running through Green Hill and Chemical Plant Zone was just not... <laughs> it didn't really excite me like that. So I think, uh, you know, they take everything they did in Sonic Media because besides the lack of original stages, I would love to see Christian Whitehead and the team make a brand new original Sonic game because the original levels that are in media are fantastic. I mean, Studiopolis Zone is one of my favorite Sonic Zones, period. And I'm a bigger fan of the 2D uh, Sonic games versus the 3D, so having a brand new original 2D Sonic adventure would be amazing and would be a day one purchase for me, of course. So a new 2D original Sonic game from the ground up, all new levels, so on and so forth, I would love to see that. Um, and of course, we can't say 2D without 3D. I would love to see what the next big budget Sonic Team Sega project is going to be for Sonic. Um, I think that's a given. I think everybody watching this and everybody who's a Sonic fan is, they want to see what the next step is for Sonic from the 3D space. You know, I know with uh, Sonic Team and Sega, they always like to experiment with Sonic the Hedgehog and try to bring in new gameplay elements and kind of experiment with the Hedgehog so the games don't all feel the same. 
honestly, I'm gonna be optimistic going into this. You know, I don't know, you know, what what direction Sega or Sonic Team is gonna go in, but hopefully whatever they show off in two days, uh, it'll, it'll make, of course, when it comes to Sonic games, you're not gonna make everyone happy. If you don't know, the Sonic fan base is like one of the most divided fan bases I've ever seen, but you're not gonna make everyone happy. That's a granted, but hopefully whatever they show gets people excited and get me back excited for the Sonic series. Um, the next thing I want to get into is the movie and television division. Of course, I want to see a teaser trailer or some sort of trailer for Sonic 2, the movie. Because I really enjoyed Sonic 1. I thought Sonic, the first Sonic movie was fantastic. And the fact that the second movie is going to have Knuckles, I kind of want to see... I kind of want to see what they're going to do with that. So I want to see more information about Sonic 2, the movie, uh, maybe a teaser trailer or an actual trailer. That'd be cool uh, for that movie. Uh, speaking of that, I also want to see what they're going to do with Sonic Prime, the Netflix series. Yes, um, I kind of almost forgot about the Netflix series until somebody brought it up to me on Twitter. Um, but the Netflix series, I kind of want to see what direction they're going with that. I want to see like the, some concept art or what style of animation they're going to use. I, I'm really curious to see what Sonic Prime is going to be like. Um, yeah, yeah. Now, kind of going back to the games a little bit, I know this is such a wild card thing, but I love Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, but one of the aspects of Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 that I love was the Chow Garden. Yo, bring back the Chow Garden. I don't care if they make it into a mobile game, I don't care if they make it like a standalone package. Listen, I would love to revisit the Chow Garden. I would love it. I mean, <laughs> On Sonic Adventure 2, the Chow Garden is where I spent the majority of the time in that game. I love the different combinations of Chow. I love how in-depth the Chow Garden was. So yeah, the Chow Garden, I would love to see Sega kind of bring that back in some form of fashion. Um, as far as Sonic Adventure, Adventure 1 and 2 remakes, I don't think they need remakes necessarily, but I would love to see HD ports uh, come over to the Nintendo Switch and PS5 and all that. So just make them readily available for new generations of players. Uh, if they decide to remake these games, great, I'm still gonna buy it. But uh, I think for me, just an HD port with some extra, some extra goodies in there is all I really need for Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Um, and yeah, oh yeah, the one more thing. The last thing I would like to see is what crazy collaborations they're gonna do. You know, Sega, they've always put Sonic in some very interesting collaboration, whether it was for Progressive Insurance or Glam Glow and Puma. I definitely wanna see what collaborations are coming up next. You know, for the most part, I missed out on the Sega Puma collaboration or the Adidas one. So I kind of want to see what other brands they're going to let Sonic collaborate with. You know, who knows? The sky's the limit with that thing, type of thing. But I'd love to see Sonic and Sega and other lines of business outside of video games. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's my list of things I would like to see. Uh, down below, drop a comment. Let me know what you would like to see. And, uh, yeah, guys, I will see you guys on the 27th, man. I'm excited for this event. And, of course, we're going to have a lot to talk about. So with that being said... I'll let y'all go. Peace.